It's all a case of horses for courses, knowing the right place for the right bike. And when it comes to baby 400s, well, motorway, wrong place. That's the place for big, heavy, cumbersome, powerful bikes. Small, narrow, twisty country lanes. Now that is the right place for nimble, light, fast 400s. And I'm wasting time. Now, a couple of weeks or so back, we took out the little Honda VFR 400R for a blast. And this week, we've got its sibling, the CBR, also a 400, but this time it's an inline, transversely mounted 4 rather than the little baby V4, the little baby VFR engine, in fact. And this, the CBR 400, is the one they call the Baby Blade. Slightly bigger, slightly wider, slightly longer than the VFR, the CBR looks more modern. It does look like a miniature fireblade. Everything about it says speed and aggression, the geometry of it, the angle of the forks, the way the whole bike leans forward. It turns in quicker than you can possibly imagine. More or less, you think this thing around corners rather than having to actually input anything into the bike. <laughs> oh, you naughty thing. You do suggest some evil things, but you do make me laugh. <laughs> <sighs> ah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Did you want another sandwich or are you... Sorry. But she is lovely. Perfect little form and everything there. At the front, we've got these fantastic brakes. Stand it on its nose, no problem whatsoever. At the back, we've got a really elaborate little swing arm. Nice little details like that and that great riding position. Certainly compared to the VFR, it feels a lot longer, so you're not as squashed in. It's a bit more relaxed, but you're still right on top of the front wheel, so the turn-in is absolutely incredible. This one's a little bit poorly, though. We have to be careful with her because there's a bit of a hesitant engine, so uh, she can't get the thorough spanking that she deserves. We'll be gentle-ish. It's true, there was a bit of a problem here. This bike had been standing for a while, so we had to be rather careful, and it wasn't particularly happy about revving over 7,000 revs, which is a shame on an engine, most of whose power is at the top end. Nevertheless, nothing can get in the way of that incredible pin-sharp handling. It is definitely dinky, but for a rider my diminutive stature, it doesn't feel too cramped. On a long journey, OK, it's going to get uncomfy, but for scratching around the back lanes, there's actually enough room to move around on it. Bigger riders, though, are likely to find it a bit of a challenge. It is all about quick reactions, the brakes, the speed of turning, the engine's ability to just whip up the power straight away. It means you really can enjoy whipping along without actually having to go at colossal speeds, legal speeds even. If you're looking at a bike purely as a toy, a bit of Sunday morning fun and nothing else, then any of the Sports 400s has to be worth a look. They're fast enough and, most of all, nimble, quick and agile. They're not all that cheap, though. This is a G-Reg example CBR 400, and it'll still set you back possibly 3,000. You'd probably get one for about two and a half eventually, which certainly isn't cheap, but you do get an awful lot of performance and an incredible amount of fun for that.